Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I found this interesting website and I thought uh, I think I can make a video about it because uh, this is really interesting and initially free to use. So you will be able to learn about uh, finite element simulation and there are a ton of features. So this is SimScale. So you can just log into simscale.com. Uh, you can just create a free account and here basically you can run like finite element simulation uh, basically over your browser so it is on the cloud you don't have to install any software locally that comes with a lot of limitation first of all it is slightly laggy than offline software so it is basically like using canva uh, so if and if you have used like photoshop canva like it's kind of same where canva is web based and photoshop is like a software so uh, i found this really interesting and you'll see there are a lot of features in this uh, tool so if you just see so these are basically cloud-based and you can collaborate with people so since this is web-based it is very easy for people to collaborate on a single project and uh, you can see various feature like you can import CAD models and then uh, you can do uh, your simulation. There are different simulation you can do. So there is some restriction in the free version, but uh, you can just try and there are different physics and applications that are there. So you can just scroll through different physics that they offer. And of course you can just check the case studies and different projects that are available in their platform. So what exactly is SimScale? It is a platform where you can perform CFD, FEA and thermal simulation on an intuitive, easy to use interface. One of the biggest advantage of this is uh, entirely cloud based. That means no installation, no updates. Everything runs on the cloud, allowing you to access your simulation from anywhere, basically at any time. Uh, I guess you can use this from your tablet or uh, mobile phone also since this is uh, via website, so I don't think any anything restricting it from using. So basically the platform offers simulation capabilities across a wide range of industries. Uh, so if I scroll down, you will see uh, these are the different uh, simulations that they offer. So I've tried with electronics and thermal physics. Both works uh, quite well. Uh, I don't say too great but it's really great considering it's working in the cloud uh, uh, for people who are starting out I think you can just sign in and try different options since uh, this is basically free so you can definitely try try to import some model and get some basic simulations running one of the interesting thing that I found here is here you can just click on the public project by the way I've signed into my account so if I click on public projects, uh, you'll see that it will actually show different projects that people have used and shared for everyone to use like uh, publicly. So you can always click on any of the uh, examples and actually see uh, the results and so on. So maybe I can just select any one of the examples. So maybe I can select this. So I'll click on open in workbench. So it might take few seconds depending on the speed of your internet and so on and you'll be able to see so as you can see uh, this is the geometry so i can click the geometry and you can actually see the different parts so so the way it works is you have different views so this is like uh, the render views this is like line, wireframe, translucent, and so on. So I can click on the three dimensional view or I can just click on the translucent one. And then you have different select options. Just like any other tool, you can select like volume, surface, edge, and so on, right? And there are ways, so you can also import geometries. You can also uh, like download and then uh, you can do all those stuff. So basically the symbol uh, represents 
the uh, so basically uh, the way it works is here you have to follow like steps so you just first set up the geometry you set up the simulation parameter so what i found is they have like a good set of uh, input parameters but i don't say they have a very intensive customization as of now but uh, these are quite good they do have different kind of uh, boundary conditions so when you click on any menu or if you even drag your cursor you can see that it will actually show you the boundary conditions so this is like velocity inlet and there is a minus z60 so this is the inlet this is another inlet so maybe i can zoom in and i can choose like translucent so this is the inlet and then this is the outlet so i can just use the cursor to uh, show the zoom out and this is the outlet of the system okay and then you have the initial condition as well so this is the gauge static pressure you have the velocity you can also drag this to actually see what are the different initial condition and you can also set the uh, materials uh, this is how you actually set up the model and then uh, these are basically like the numerical settings uh, before you run the simulation and also you can see that it shows the solver and all these things and you also have the simulation control like uh, the maximum runtime and so on and then you have the results so the results are generally there inside the run so you can just click on the post process result by the way since i opened a uh, like publicly available model that's why it's showing view only so you can always copy in your own account and then uh, do your analysis so in this video i don't run any simulation uh, i'm just showing you maybe in the next video uh, if you are interested you can just comment i'll show you how to actually import a cad model and do the simulation so here it's showing the particle tracing This is actually great considering that it is running on the browser so it is not consuming any CPU. So maybe I can toggle off the particle tracing. I can open the part color to let's say turbulent kinetic energy. or i can select like different components such as pressure since these were the inlets they have like high pressure and so on and also here you have uh, the legend as well you can also have cut planes to actually see the cut plane just like uh, other tools but you know it's a bit slow and uh, it's fine considering it's running on a browser but uh, yeah so this is how you actually do your analysis and there are few limited options so i found that the customization is not that great at this moment but there is an option to actually download your results so i don't know why the download button is not there so it says downloading of result is disabled for this result uh okay it was generated from an extended community plan okay fine but in general you are able to download like the results and then you can view it so i'll just show you from one of the model that i actually uh, experimented and i'll show you the results so I just opened one of the examples that I actually solved in my account. So I'll just quickly show you 
So this is the basic geometry that I had, okay? And what I did is I added a fixed surface on one side. So this is the fixed surface, okay? Fixed face actually. And then I have a force. So basically this is the fixed side and I have a force that is acting downward. So you can see Fy and it is the minus value. And in the corner, if you see the direction, so Y is pointing up, that's why the force is downward, okay? And then I created the mesh. So these are quite simple. So if you want to manually do changes, that also we can try, but the default one works great. So I had like a nice mesh and then I ran the simulation. So these are the simulation result. I'll click on the post processing. And now you see that you can plot like uh, displacement. So if you see that if I increase the scale, the displacement is actually higher. Similarly, you can plot uh, different components. So you can plot the strain. You can plot uh, like the stress and so on. Right now, uh, what I want to show you is that uh, one good thing about this tool uh, that made me interested is that you can download the result. So the, it says 25 MB. So I'll just click on download and you will see that the result will be downloaded. It's a zip file, right? And I'll show you once it is downloaded. So it is downloaded and and after your download, so you get you will get a zip file. And when you unzip the zip file, you basically get few files. So don't worry about all this. Basically, what you need is to, you, you need to install Paraview. Okay. So this is like an open source tool and quite a great one for post processing. So you can use the download button to actually download on whatever system you're working. Uh, I have tested in Linux and Windows. So if you can just uh, click on download. So now that you have downloaded Paraview, um, I've installed it. So this is the interface as it looks. And this is the file that we downloaded. So I just unzip the file and you'll see this three file. Okay. So now what we'll do, we can just um, import this PVD file here. We can just drag it and you'll see that uh, this interface will actually show you the model that is the mesh and then we also have different properties i'll go through this uh, in a minute but i will take a second to just tell you what is going on here so basically this vtu file this contains all the data of the post processing and the vtm file actually reads this uh, uh, vtu file okay so this acts like a shortcut to the vtu file so now when uh, let's say you are doing time dependent study or some similar study, you might have a lot of VTU file within this folder. So this uh, act like the initial load file that actually loads all the VTU file from here. Okay. So this is the post processing result that uh, actually we downloaded. So Paraview is quite a interesting tool. Uh, it's uh, uh, having a lot of feature actually to do different kind of analysis. First of all, you can use your mouse to drag through the interface and it is quite fast. And you can use your cursor to actually zoom in and zoom out. And here you can choose what you actually want to plot. That is the color. And you can choose what kind of surface you want. If you want to have the mesh as well as the surface, you can always uh, do that also. So this is another way to actually view your geometry as well as the results. Now, let's say I want to actually see the total strain. Then you can just click on total strain and you will have this. Okay. And of course, you can change the color and stuff. So you can just click. Uh, where is it? So here is the preset. So let's say I want to use uh, this color. So you can see that now I have a different color. So let me use this color for now. So as you can see, we can use different color patterns. Similarly, if you want to plot uh, different stress components, you can do that too. Or 
let's say you want to calculate the magnitude of displacement that also you can plot so the color actually represents the displacement magnitude so you can also plot along a particular direction about the displacement so this is not the only thing that you can do in paraview there are a lot of uh, filters and post processing that you can actually do so i'll just show you a few of them so if you go to filter and then if you go here in the alphabetical uh, layer you can see that uh, there is actually like hundreds of different filter and analysis that you can actually do uh, in paraview itself okay so let's say i just want to plot the points and i want to select a point so to select a point uh, i can just use this and drag my mouse and i can select that particular point okay now what i can do uh, here there is an option to actually uh, extract selection so now uh, here probably I won't be able to create the surface yeah so it won't allow me to create the surface but I hope you understood so we can extract particular point extract particular surface from a particular model and later export it as a different data set as well and there are ways you can plot the result with time and so on if this data has a time uh, factor that also you can do so we can plot your data with respect to time so I'll just again go back to surface and what I will do, I'll just try to uh, select some surface. Okay. And then I'll click on extract selection. So now you see, since I did a random selection, I was able to select the surface data set from the original data set. So this is quite easy in Paraview to actually do this kind of stuff. So I'll again delete this. Let me quickly show you one of the interesting analysis uh, just as an example. So if you select the data and just right click. So what you can do in the common, you can click on contour. Okay. So let's say I want to pl plot uh, the contour of, uh, let's say the displacement or let's say the contour of this uh, stress. Now what I want to do, uh, I'll just remove this and I want to add like a range of contour. So number of sample, let's say I'll write 20 and click on generate. Now what you can see, it, it is actually creating a contour of uh, 20 different planes with respect to the magnitude. And uh, considering this to be a free tool, uh, this actually feels like a proper build software. There is absolutely zero lag in any of the operation that uh, you actually do. I worked with complex geometries as well, containing like millions and millions of uh, point, like at least seven to eight million points. And uh, I have seen there is absolutely no lag at all. So this is quite an uh, interesting tool. So I just want to show you. So this is the data set so that I downloaded. And then I opened that in uh, Paraview and uh, I'm basically able to do the post processing offline in my pc whereas i can run the simulation in the cloud in simscale so this is the rough workflow that i wanted to show you so we can also create an account and just try out the different feature this will definitely help you to learn at least how to do post processing in paraview and in different tools by the way in uh, even in Multi multiphysics there is an option to export your data as a VTK or VTM file that you can actually import in Paraview and do the post processing. So if you're interested in a detailed uh, video regarding uh, this, do let me know in the comments. I'll try to make one. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to this channel. And if you have any thoughts, you can always write in the comment section. Feel free to contact me if you need any help or suggestion. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.